Okay, so right, it's uh, Antietam today, and I thought I'd uh, do a quick, we're going to do a uh, summary video, so I'm not going to go through every single place we stop at, but we will give you a, a little bit of a, a view into the battle as much as we can. I uh, kind of want to enjoy it myself as well as share a little bit with you. Uh, we're at the second stop of the Battlefield Tour. There's a lot of trail walking that you can do here, and you could spend two or three days here walking all the trails, actually. Uh, this is in the northern section of the battlefield, the North Woods. Union General uh, Hooker, the Hooker's men, spent the night before the battle at the uh, Poffenberger Farm, which is this area just over here behind us. See the sign says Poffenberger? <laughs> and uh, we... Are, uh, so let's see what happened there. So at first light, they, they, they attacked and advanced south from here towards uh, Jackson's lines. Uh, the stars were still shining when Hooker's skirmishers came, became engaged. A soldier would later a call. And this fighting was fairly uh, bloody. There's a cornfield and brush ahead there. And uh, the, the Confederates uh, inflicted a pretty heavy toll. You can see we're up kind of high too. There's a that hill drops off about 75 feet, 80 feet. Uh, some grass getting cut in the background. So here's the Cornfield Trail, and what you can do is walk down this trail and see. Here's probably a good look at the situation. Uh, so you can see this area here. This is the cornfield, which is probably uh, half a mile ahead. And you can see where uh, the chaps uh, advance through there. And what we're going to do now is we'll uh, move on to a couple of the other sections of the battlefield, try and give you a feel for everything. We'll move around to Burnside's Bridge and then uh, down towards, I think the last one I was going to do was, uh, the trail's not on this diagram here, I don't believe. Uh, Burnside's Bridge and then somewhere else, Trimble's, Trimble's Trail I believe it is. Anyway, uh, we'll also look at the Sunken Road of course as well. So uh, that's kind of the little little look at it from here. I've got to keep the wife happy as well here. So we've got to do some you know, kind of high speed summaries. She's sitting in the car getting some air conditioning. Let's have a, you know, let's have a quick look up here. So you've got a Union soldier here, looks like he's uh, reloading his weapon. There's a bunch of statues along here that we'll drive along and take a look at, but I'm not going to video every single thing for you. Uh, <clears throat> this is just great, uh, great commentary. You know, it's not, uh, I'm sure you could sit, here's a, a look at the forces and the layout. There's a really good movie they play here. It's about 30 minutes long. It's well worth having a look at before you take a uh, before you take a view of the battlefield. It gives you some understanding of what, what's going on. I'm trying to hold these still long enough so that you can perhaps read them if they're focused. Jackson's command and artillery and these forces are right here. Oh, so two families, right? That's what this was, a little confusing. J. Poffenberger's farm and A. Poffenberger's farm. Poffenberger's farm. Uh, this will be another regimental, yeah, another regimental statue. That's a pretty standard format uh, for all the Europeans that have not been to a Civil War battlefield before. Uh, every every regiment typically has a, a uh, statue or plinth or uh, column erected to represent the where the where the force fought and the direction that the statue is facing is typically typically the direction the direction they were advancing or firing or whatever the case might be. So that's kind of that's kind of this section of the map or the, the battlefield, and we'll move from here. So this is down to the other end of the woods, the east end of the woods, and this will give you, uh, you can probably get a decent view from there. So you see those trees in the distance and a little to the right, that's where we just, I just was, uh, at the northern end of the woods uh, from Jackson's command. And this will give you a little more insight here. I'll just hold this here for you for a second, take a look at, you can pause the video, etc., etc. 
some background on uh, Mansfield. I think there were some poor decisions made on both sides here, but overall, these guys are working with limited uh, intelligence and difficult circumstances, right? Okay, now we'll move down the battlefield line. There's a trail running here, and I'm, we're going to come down around this way. Uh, I think down to, uh, oh, sorry, other way. We're up here. Is that right? No, oh, I'm twitched around now. They've got this turned around the other way. Okay, so we're going to be coming down, down to the Dunker, Dunker, back down to the Dunker Church eventually. I can't even see the screen here. It's the sun's so bright, so... And so from here, uh, this is the cornfield that the Union forces advanced through. You can see just how wide it is and how high that corn is, right? That corn's probably 10 feet high. So you can imagine the troops, uh, so for instance, this is Pencil, uh, 137th Pennsylvania, volunteer infantry from the 1st Brigade, 2nd Division, 6th Corps, advanced through here. And you'll note, uh, let's see, Interesting, it doesn't, uh, there are a couple of uh, Confederate plinths over on the left-hand side. I'll show you in just a sec. We've got 123rd Pennsylvania here. You probably can't see those because of the, uh, oh, that's not too bad. It's really bright out here, so it's hard to see. So, and then this is looking further to the south. Is that right? I'm trying to look at the sun, see which direction we're going. And you can see the visitor's center in the distance. Anyway, that pyramid there, that's right near where the visitor center is, which is, and the column there. And over here, I've got the 11th Mississippi. And there's all the Confederate uh, columns, etc. Don't usually don't have statues on them. So, uh, the 11th Mississippi Fort at Manassas and Gaines Farm, Malvern Hill and Seven Pines. Hopefully you can read that okay. There, does that help? And then you've got another one of the formations down there. And you can see all along there there are signs that outline the, uh, where the commanding officers were, any specific or unique actions that took place in each one. So you can see what they literally say, it's been three days this month, and it's not even, uh, you know, it's a much, much smaller area of uh, the force of the day's battle than Gettysburg uh, was. And here's the New York, our fourth New York infantry. So just real quickly, uh, we're now facing towards the sunken road, which is this little trail. Part of, well, part of that is this little trail down here, and uh, the Union advance is coming from this direction. And so we'll uh, actually going to be cutting it short because we're getting a little uh, light sprinkle of rain. Just some quick video. <clears throat> I've got a croaky throat and the sun's come out. And here we go, here's Burnside's Bridge. And you can see the, the high ridge up here where the Confederates hung out. And uh, Burnside was trying to get his regiment across this bridge here and a little bit further down as well. Uh, massive losses in three attacks. And it wasn't until uh, additional reinforcements were brought up that uh, they managed to slacken off the fire of the Confederates and then rush the bridge. and. And, and take it, and we'll have a look at some more in a second. I think we can actually read that, but you can pause the video there and check that out. And lots of mosquitoes. But you can see the height of that ridge. 
that is imposing to be told to come and take it. And uh, here's your stream on either side. And Burnside, uh, St. Floss is down that way as well. I believe it was that way, maybe it was this way. So we'll get both in just in case, eh? And here's the bridge, pretty much as it was back in the day. And we'll go check these monuments out in a sec down here. Yeah. We won't um, spend too much more time on these. I'm sure most of you guys have read all this stuff anyway. But if you haven't, I'll have to see what titles I own on this particular battle. I may have one. Pull them outside now. This is a witness tree. This tree was here uh, during the battle. Look at that sucker. Look how high he is. Beautiful. Sycamore. 